Hernias in babies can occur in different forms and can vary in severity. A hernia is essentially a condition where an organ or tissue protrudes through a weak spot in a muscle or connective tissue. In the case of babies, the most common hernias include inguinal hernias, umbilical hernias, and hiatal hernias. An inguinal hernia happens when a portion of the intestine pushes through the inguinal canal, located in the groin area. This type of hernia is more commonly seen in boys and can be present at birth or develop during the first year of life. Inguinal hernias are typically not considered life-threatening, but they do require medical attention. If left untreated, they can lead to complications such as bowel obstruction, which can be serious. Umbilical hernias are another type frequently seen in infants. They occur when the intestines protrude through the abdominal muscles near the belly button. Umbilical hernias are quite common in babies, and in most cases, they tend to resolve on their own by the age of one or two. However, if an umbilical hernia is still present in a child beyond this age or if it becomes larger or causes pain, medical intervention may be required to repair it. Hiatal hernias, while less common in infants, can also occur. These hernias develop when the upper part of the stomach pushes up through the diaphragm muscle into the chest cavity. Hiatal hernias usually cause symptoms such as acid reflux and can be managed with lifestyle changes and medication. In conclusion, while hernias in babies may initially cause concern, they are often manageable and treatable. It is important to consult a healthcare professional for an accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment, as the severity and course of action can vary depending on the type and individual circumstances.